Roger Moore. Della Reese. Bill Kamen. Jan Murray. And Donna Jean Young. All on the comedy game show, Funny You Should Ask. And now, here's our man in Hollywood, Lloyd Sexton. Pleasure to see you. Welcome to our show. Hi, Welcome. Thank you. The week went so fast, Jan, and I won't have to rush back and forth between here and Las Vegas at the you Riviera, know. right, Jan? Yes, I'm at the Riviera Hotel. We'll be there a few more nights. Can't now you can relax. Roger Moore's uh, The Saint is coming back to television on NBC. We're very uh, thrilled about that. Here we are once again together Hi. at the end of our week. The Funny Money jackpot is up to $900. Gosh. And each round of Funny You Should Ask, our stars sitting over there are going to be asked a question like they have been all week. After we've heard their answers, we bring our contestants out of the soundproof booth, read those answers one at a time, and their game is to tell me which star said what. Is that fun? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't wait. Who said what? this? So, no, wait a minute. I can't say who said this. <laughs> George Bernard Shaw said this, as a matter of fact. What? The only people who call women the weaker sex are women. The rest of us know better. Now, that's a quote from George Bernard Shaw. Now, here's your question. Which do you really think is the weaker sex? Oh. That's the question. Milk Kamen, which do you think of the two? I, I, I've, I, you know, I've heard that question a lot of times. I've, heard, I've never understood it. Which is the weaker sex? Right. Do they mean before sex or after sex? <laughs> <laughs> they just mean... <laughs> yeah, along about 7 o'clock. Yeah, they just but mean the weaker sex. Which is? It has nothing to do with sex, then. Uh, it has to do with what the sex is, man, sex, woman. Man, man, woman, yeah, but that's not, uh, actually, I got, got frightened because, uh, right. Is that your uh, answer then? Uh, that, well, I, that's what was preoccupying oh, me. Oh, that, all right, uh, okay. I think about that in belly dancing. Oh, yes, all of. right. Uh, Della Reese, what do you think? Uh, uh, now, this is going to start a fight, but men are the weaker sex, and I have reasons. For an example? Yes. A woman lives longer. Mm-hmm. She's got some fool that gets up every morning, goes to work, and brings her bread back to her. <laughs> yeah. She's healthier. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And if any of these men don't appreciate what I've said, I'll Indian wrestle right after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we shouldn't try it now. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it, no. Thank you. I want to find out. No, you'll lose. You'll lose. I can tell you before the show. It was terrible. <laughs> it broke my arm. Roger Moore, which is the weaker sex? Oh, women. I hope I've never raised my hand to a man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, or anything else, I trust, Roger. Yeah. I believe him, you know. All right, Donna Jean Young, uh, what is the... Oh, uh, I, I definitely think that uh, women are the weaker sex. Men are much stronger. I mean, look how many men that they pick up during a lifetime. I mean, look how many women they pick up during their lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us to Roger. Here, you uh, would you like to start that over? Uh, which do you really think is the weaker sex, Donna Jane? Well, I think that women are. I was actually <laughs> thinking of Jan. You know, how many women he's picked up during a lifetime. I see what you mean. Look how well, many women are picked up. That's during a lifetime. Dragging Jan never Picked did up anything. genuinely. I mean, yeah, not like that. Yes, I, we know. Men are dead. Just keep talking. Some, eventually, if something comes out, that's I what know, I, I know. know. Uh, Jan Murray, uh, who do you well, think is the weakest thing? It's so difficult for me to disagree with Donna Jean. I know. <laughs> but she makes it sense all the time. Right, <laughs> she does. <laughs> That's funny, right? But I do disagree with her this particular you moment. Do? Yes, because and this may shock you, Lloyd, but I studied anthropology, and it's a definite <laughs> scientific proven fact that male, the male, is definitely the weaker sex. Male is. Yes, and you try it now. You hear what she said? Look how many women men pick up now. Uh, you give yourself this test. Don't forget. Right. You pick up a woman. Now, how long can you hold it? Two or three minutes, right? But a female can carry a male for nine months. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's such an inside statement. Uh, an inside statement. <laughs> there you have our answers. Our contestants will be out in a minute. <laughs>
Bathe in Calgon bath oil beads and love the skin you're in. Blink. Adjust. Scratch. Cough. <laughs> Your control center tells you what to do. Like cough when you have a cold. But it doesn't tell you how to keep from coughing. Unless it knows about New Sucret's cough control formula. The non-habit forming lozenge that works at your control center. When the urge says, cough, cough, suppress it with new cough control formula from Sucret's. All right, our contestants have joined us on the show and I'd like them to introduce themselves. First we have... My name is Wendy Bazanich. I'm from San Pedro, and I'm originally from Canada. I work in a shipbuilding company, and I've been married for two years now. And Tom Stevens from Illinois, married just two months, and a teacher of English and music at Riverside Polytechnic High School. All right, be careful how you talk. There you have our uh, contestants on Funny You Should Ask. It's Wendy and Tom, right? Well, Wendy and Tom, at any time during our show, if you manage to play a perfect round and be right four times, you'll win our Funny Money jackpot, and right now it's worth nine hundred dollars get four in a row and it'll keep going up one hundred dollars a round until somebody hits it in addition the one who comes up with the most right answers in each round gets a one hundred dollar gift certificate right kenny yes a one hundred dollar gift certificate from spiegel the famous spiegel catalog company the reliable modern spiegel catalog features over fifty thousand quality items spiegel chicago 60609 illinois that's it lud and for the most right answers on the entire show a special prize so there are three ways to win count them all right Here's the question I ask. Which do you really think is the weaker sex? Who said the male is the weaker sex? A man can only pick up a woman and hold her for only a few minutes. But a female can carry a male for nine months. <laughs> Who said that? Five to choose from. This is the tough part. Who did you say, Wendy? I said Donna Jean Rock Young. Oh, she just seems really sure of herself. Yeah, she is. Tom? <laughs> <laughs> I said Della Reese because I think she likes men. Well, she does like men, and Donna Jean Young is never sure of herself. Actually, it was Jane Murray who uh, yes. said that. He's the first I, man that uh, studied, carried uh, What did you study? Anthropology. Anthropology, which yes. Which is the study of corns. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay. Which do you really think is the weaker sex? Who up there said women? Men are much stronger. Wait a minute. Which is weaker? Sex? Men are much stronger. Look how many women they pick up in a lifetime. I guess the person actually said men. The answer was men. Men are much stronger. Look how many women they pick up in a lifetime. That's just... Lock in your answer, though. <laughs> you know, that's just about the way it was said. Yeah, I just time. What did you say, Wendy? I said Della Reese, but I don't know why. Just to get <laughs> All right, Tom, who did you say? Well, I said Donna Jean Young. I think she likes strong men. Yeah, well, I, I thought you'd get it from the way I read it. It was actually the way she said it. It was Donna Jean Young. You picked up a point, Tom. I can't even read her answers that right. All right, who said this? I've never been able to understand it. I don't know if they're talking about before sex or after sex. <laughs> Which is really the weaker sex, before or after? Lock it in there. Who'd you say, Wendy? I would say Roger Moore. Roger Moore. How about you, Tom? Who did you say? I said Milt came out. I think he's looking for sex. <laughs> oh! 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 Look. Which do you really think is the weaker sex? Who up there, Roger or Della, said, Women, I hope. I've never raised my hand to a man. <laughs> <laughs> who'd you say, Wendy? Della Reese. Right. Tom, who'd you say? Della Reese, only women could answer like that in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you say. I can step outside. <laughs> Nobody picked up the points. That's Tom so has funny. two points and wins the round and a $100 gift certificate from Spiegel. And as our players head backstage to the soundproof booth, let's show the special prize that goes to the contestant who scores the most right answers for the day. <laughs> First, General Electric console stereo equipped with exclusive Portify that lets you enjoy music from anywhere in your home. Simply plug the Portify receiver into any wall outlet. Beautiful sound convenient with no unsightly or custom wiring necessary from General Electric. And... 
Charm Glow's Master Chef Portable Outdoor Gas Barbecue, featuring the new Charm Alloy Metal Cast Iron Burner for even heat distribution. Aluminum cart provides easy mobility from Charm Glow products of Antioch, Illinois. And six five pound extra lean genuine imported Polish hams. Never any waste, ready cooked and ready to eat. Genuine imported Polish hams come in the Atalata Krakus and Tala brands. Okay, Lloyd. All right, here's an old Western expression. An old Western expression that always gets a hand. <laughs> what Quote. an audience we have here today. Right. They applaud exits. <laughs> a cowboy should die with his boots on. That's the quote. <laughs> now here is your question. How do you want to leave this world? That's kind of a maudlin question to ask, but no. I'm sure we'd all like to know. How do you want <laughs> to leave this world? Roger Moore, you had your choice. How I'd like to go? Yes. Yeah. I'd like to be on a desert island with Sophia Loren, Brigitte Bardot, uh, Gina Lollobrigida, and Jam Murray for laughs. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll have none of that on our show. Good luck <laughs> there. This is a friendly show. You, I, you know, what, you'd funny? like him to think it's just for laughs, wouldn't yeah. you, Bobby? You know what, funny? <laughs> <laughs> but those two contestants nailed you, didn't they? All right, all right, not a genius. How would you like to leave this world? Would you like all those women wrapped up in one? <laughs> no. no, but you're one woman I'd like to give a rap to. <laughs> That's your answer? Oh, no, all right, Donna. The question is, how do you want to leave this world? She already has. I know. Just let her tell us how she did it. Right. How do we like to leave this world healthy? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and I would like to leave it in a, in a black panty girdle. <laughs> I like to even drive men crazy even after I'm gone. And? Well, uh, is that the end of the sentence? <laughs> Lots of luck, Donna. Uh, Donna, your voice is supposed to go down at the end of the sentence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we know when you're finished. Jan Murray, how would you like to leave this world? I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to leave this world kicking and screaming because they ain't going to take me alive. I'll tell you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yes, Jan. I just remembered. Now I know how I really... This is going to be my answer. All right. This is my answer. Go ahead, because they'll get it. All right. <laughs> I'd like to leave this world at the age of 97 in my right mind, but in the wrong apartment. <laughs> That's <okay. laughs> All right, Milk came. Well, I was thinking I don't have as big a desires as the rest of them. I think I, I'd like to leave the world the way I came into it. Broke, naked, but next to a nice lady. <laughs> I left out Della. Oh, goodness, I don't know. I almost forgot you, Della. How do you want to leave this world? I want to leave dramatically. Yes. You know, like, uh, oh, um, giving birth to quintuplets at 105. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's a lot of temperature. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there you have our answers. Now our contestants will be out in a minute. All right. <laughs> Kleenex towels have more spill power. They absorb on the double. Soak up mess after mess. Kleenex towels. The towels with more spill power. Oh, the funny things girls do to their face. They frost it. Freeze it. Tease it. Chill it. Be a little nicer to your face with Kleenex. So soft. It's the facial tissue most girls reach for first. To undo all that a day does to a face. Kleenex. The first tissue. All right, our 
Well, the contestants are back, and we'll get to your question in just a moment. But first, here's Kenny Williams. And here are gifts for being on the show. Now, something truly different in color cookware. Wherever Cerama, the only aluminum cookware with the oven-to-table ceramic casserole. Teflon 2 interior, ceramic exteriors, dishwasher proof. And you'll receive a set of eight Fisher pens and the Fisher Space Pen, which defies gravity. Writes at any angle, even upside down. Only the Fisher Space Pen is approved by NASA for astronaut use in outer space and was used exclusively by the crew of Apollo 7. What's the jackpot this round, Lloyd? Well, the jackpot in this round is for $1,000. Get four in a right. Four in a row right. I can't even say it. Get four in a right, and you win $1,000. All right. Here's the question I ask our stars. Kind of a maudlin question, but how do you want to leave this world? In what way? Who said, dramatically, giving birth to quintuplets at the age of 105? <laughs> Who said that? Five to choose from now. Who did you oh, say, Did Tom? they answer already? Yeah. I hope they answered Roger Moore. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. Who did you say, Wendy? I said Jan Murray. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who did you say, Tom? I said Donna Jean. She looked very young. She can have a lot of children. Yes, it wasn't so. It was Della Reese who said that. Well, Nobody well. picked any points, although Jan swore you'd pick him. All right, who said this? I can't believe it. All right, now, there are now, four to two... already have triplets of 105? Yeah. Yes, all right. All right, now, who said this? How do you want to leave this world healthy and in a black panty girdle? I want to drive them crazy even after I've gone. Who said that? That's either Roger, Jan, Donna, or no. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That was Roger. Yeah, yeah. Wendy, who did you say? I said Donna G. Yeah. And who'd you say, Tom? I'm with Donna again. <laughs> All right, you were right. It was Donna, too. It couldn't have been any of those other people. All right, we each pick up a point. Who said this? I want to leave this world broke, naked, but next to a nice lady. <laughs> who said that? Who'd you say, Wendy? I said Roger Moore. <laughs> And Tom, who did you say? I said Milt. He looked very modest. Yes, uh, <laughs> it was. Milt came in. That's right, Tom. You picked up a point. Actually, Milt said he wanted to go out the way he came in, the way he was born. All right. Now, it's down between Jan and Roger. Be very careful here, because who said they would like to leave this world at the age of 97, in my right mind, but in the wrong apartment? <laughs> who said that? One of those two. Lock it in there. Wendy, who did you say? I said Jan Murray. And Tom, who did I you said say? Jan. He has a devil in his eyes. You uh, know something? Yeah. And I don't have too many years to wait. <laughs> <laughs> it was Jan Murray. That's right. We still got the point. Tom wins the round and another $100 gift certificate from Spiegel. And we'll go on to round three right after this word. I feel so good inside. So happy to hear those American audiences applaud so warmly those old world songs. When my singing engagements are close enough to get home for dinner, I prefer to cook my own spaghetti, old world style, with ragu spaghetti sauce. Like great songs that live and live, loved by all, Italian spaghetti has won an international reputation. A dish truly great. Pour on this cheerful, warm, red spaghetti sauce and it's the greatest. Il mare luccica l'astro d'argento. Mmm, a classic. When it's made with ragu spaghetti sauce, America's tastiest. Oh, did I remember to tell you that every time my mother uses ragu spaghetti sauce, she says, that's a nice ragu. Spell it for alphabet, W-A-L-K wall. Sugary alphabets, T-A-L-K tall. Tastiest cereal you ever met. It's so good eating up the alphabet. Spell it for alphabet, G-O-A-T gold. Sugary alphabets, B-O-A-T bold. Tastiest cereal you ever met. It's so good eating up the alphabet. You know something awake? You're getting more popular every day. Only because I remind them of you, Orange. And because you're more convenient. And because you have more vitamin C. Well, Orange, you can be sure of one thing. Oh? What's that? While they're drinking me, 
They'll be thinking of you. <laughs> You're so good. You're so good. You are. You are. You're good. Here we go with question number three. Author Somerset Maugham once said, quote, In all of history, Adam and Eve are the only two people who have successfully lived on love, unquote. Here is your question. How long can a couple live on love? I know there are a lot of couples that watch our show that like to know the answer to that. Jan Murray, how long can a couple live on love? Ten years. Twelve if you use platformate. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, actually, I don't think you could live for very long on love. Really? My wife and I tried it, and she almost died of malnutrition. Uh, <laughs> or... Or... Yeah. All right. All right, Della Reese, how long? Oh, you Seriously could... Seriously now, how long can a couple live on? the birds refuse to sing and the bells refuse to ring or the unemployment checks run out. Uh, <laughs> whatever comes first. Any, any, whatever comes first. And not necessary in that order. All right. Roger Moore, how long can a couple live on love, Roger? For about nine months after that, they become a trio. <laughs> Not a couple anymore. All right. Donna Jean Young? Um, until the girl's couple, uh, until the girl's mother uh, comes unexpectedly from Ohio to meet her new roommate. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, well, I understand. Jan, do you understand? Huh? You understand, Jan. I'm in a coma I'm here with this girl. <laughs> All right. I said until the girl's mother comes unexpectedly to, to meet her, to live with her new roommate. Yes, we know. All right. No that, Cayman. Uh -huh. Yes, no, I, I, I did. I, I mean, I can see that. Try. Wait a minute. We're oh, she's not? Oh, oh right. we forgot. Go ahead. I'm finished. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That was it. <laughs> that was it. That was it, Jan. Well, I don't think anybody here has given the uh, correct answer. I think it's very. I think a couple can live on love almost right up to the day they get married. <laughs> All right, there you have our answer. Uh, our contestants will be out in a minute. Nobody can predict whose this child will catch a cold or flu. But if your child has aches and a runny nose, now there's more than plain aspirin. There's congesperin. Congesperin contains children's aspirin, plus a decongestant to combine benefits of aspirin and nose drops or nasal decongestant rubs, all in a chewable orange-flavored tablet. For relief of children's colds and flu symptoms, get congesperin. Your first real piece of furniture. A $75 bargain, but it's as precious to you as a $7,500 antique. So you treat it with love. With spray polish? Go ahead. That's New Behold. They've added expensive natural cabinet waxes to Behold's famous lemon oil. New Behold rejuvenates the wood and shines to a rich hand rub beauty. New Behold. Treats all your furniture like rare antiques. Like it's the only piece you own. If soap is so great, why do they add cream to it? You know why. Because soap can dry your face. Cream can't. So, Happy Face, the wonderful washing cream. Happy Face cleans like soap, even washes off like soap, but never dries your face. Because Happy Face is all cream. Soaps may add cream, but Happy Face is cream. <laughs> Isn't that better? Why is a child's hair color so innocent? Tony found out why. Their hair has a quiet, unobvious tone, as if nature had put in a quieter. So we developed a formula that does the same thing. It quiets down hair color. Now, if you want innocent color, you can get innocent color from Tony. Shampoo's in in just 10 minutes and won't wash out. 14 innocent shades from Tony. This is our third round. The time is up before we complete the round. The $100 gift certificate goes to the one who is in the lead. And remember, if you get four in a row, our funny money jackpot is now worth $1,100. So get four in a row. Tom got three in that last round. You came within one. All right. Here's the question I ask our stars. How long can a couple live on love? 
We've all wanted to know that. Who said this? Until the birds refuse to sing, until the bells refuse to ring, or the unemployment checks run out, whichever comes first. <laughs> Who said that? Lock it in there. Who did you say, Wendy? Jan Murray. Very with Jan. Tom, who did you say? I went with milk. You went with milk, huh? <laughs> you did. And it you? was Della Reese who Della said Reese that. Said it. I, I almost I almost sang that or yeah. sung that or whatever it is, but I knew I'd give it away if I did. Who said this? How long can a couple live on love? Almost right up to the day that they get married. <laughs> Almost right up to the day. Who said that? Lock it in there. Four to choose from now. Della Reese is already up. Who did you say, Wendy? I don't know, but I said Jan Murray again. Jan Murray. All right, Tom, who did you I say? I said Roger just because I just got married. <laughs> because you just got married? <laughs> well. Uh, and so you said Roger. Who was it that said that? It was... No, no, Cayman over I there that said that. Nobody has any points yet. Now, we've got to have someone get that one dollar certificate. You. All right, who said this? How long can a couple live on love? Who said 10 years? 12, if you use platformate. <laughs> who said that? That's Roger, Jan, or Donna. They went fast on that. Wendy, who did you say? Jan Murray again. I also said Jan. You said Jan. That was a Jan Murray line. You were right. But Jan, we took up a point. Thank you. All right, now, Wendy and Tom, who said, uh, how long can a couple live on love? Who said, about nine months. After that, they become a trio. <laughs> who said that? That's either Roger or Donna Jean. Lock it in there, Wendy. All right, who did you say, Wendy? Donna Jean. And who did you say, Tom? Donna Jean. No. I, I should have said that, it but Roger said it. It was Roger Moore that said that, and nobody picked up the points. However, at the end of our game, you tied the last round. That means you each get a $50 gift certificate from Spiegel. And what happened to our grand prize, Kenny? Well, here's the final total. Wendy was correct three times. Tom was correct six times. So Tom gets the barbecue and the console stereo. Congratulations to Tom Stevens. $250 and gift certificate. Thank you very much, Wendy, for playing our game. You did win $50 in gift certificates, and it's been a ball having you on our show. All right, tomorrow, our Funny Money jackpot will start off at $1,200. And actually, that's on Monday it's going to start off at $1,200, and we're going to have two new contestants and, as always, five famous stars on Funny You Should Ask. Goodbye. which follows immediately over most of these ABC stations.